So I'm doing a video on adjusting your parking brake. So maybe it's too tight and it's pre-engaging the rear brakes and that can cause, like in this car, premature brake caliper failure or seizing up the brake calipers. So like right now, it's it's you should have a little bit of play before it actually engages the lines and there's no play. It almost feels like it's already engaged. So I need to loosen it or it's too loose and you have to pull it almost all the way up um, and to make sure it's not the lines broken um, or stuck you can maybe they're just too loose so I'm gonna show you how to do that so first things first go in the back and we're gonna take out these two torques which are t20s so yeah, you just take out those two first and then we're going to take out a third one <laughs> so in this car we've got this so let's just move this and i'm gonna have to unplug that and take out that screw right there that'll allow me to move the whole glove box up so once you've got those screws out um, you're gonna get this piece off first so kind of like pull up and over then this should just pop out back here yep so it's weird i've done this before and it looks like somebody's been in here and put duct tape in here but it's in this car too so some type of duct tape from the factory it's kind of weird but got that out now we just take these screws out here and here to allow this center console to be free. You're gonna have to move the parking brake up a little bit to be able to slide it off. And you can just put all your screws in the cup holder. So you've got those two bolts out. You can kind of like move it up and you're gonna have to wanna pick the center piece out. And you can actually just wiggle this whole thing off. So, there's that. Now, we're almost, almost there. So, because you can start to see just a little bit where we need to be to adjust the parking brake. So next is these two screws here. And then you're gonna to need to move the seat forward and leave these side entrance areas for here and here so that we can get the rest of this piece out. Okay, now if you can lift it up, this is what we're working with here. So that snut right there is the adjustment. So obviously you tighten it to make it tighter and loosen it. So I'm gonna loosen it a little bit and feel it out. Um, if you, I'm gonna do a video shortly, hopefully in the next few days, on actually replacing these parking brake lines um, all the way from the caliper all the way through here because this car, it's too tight. On this car, the parking brake is too loose and it's actually not engaging on that wheel but the other wheel it is engaging so and i'm going to be replacing the parking brake lines or cables um on that car hopefully soon so once again you can just lift this up and then um, it's a 10 millimeter to loosen or tighten just that one there um, you want to get this whole thing off, okay? If you want to take the whole thing off. I took pretty much all the screws out. And there's only one right... This car is so messy, I need to clean it, but... Back there, one screw, which I cannot reach, that's holding this whole thing on. This whole assembly. So there's nothing holding it in but that one screw that I can't reach. And I, then I could take the whole thing off. 
or at least lift it all the way forward. So I'll have to figure that out. But in short, that's how you adjust the parking brake on a Mark V generation, Rabbit, Golf, Jetta, GTI.